We need more police on the beat. That's the message tonight from both the City of Perth and Police Minister, who are demanding action on a violence crisis in the CBD. New pictures have revealed some ugly truths and many business owners admit they are afraid for their safety. Throwing punches, kicking and stomping. This is the CBD on a Thursday night and it's not even 8 o'clock. The City of Perth taking the unprecedented step of releasing its own vision to the media in a desperate push for more police. The reality is that we are having fight club on our streets every single day. It's putting lives at risk. The offenders appear young and not phased about crashing into passers-by at the busy intersection of Wellington and William Streets. Even high-profile stars have been caught up in the violence plaguing the city and Northbridge. Shop owners now fear for their safety. One person came into our store with a bloody nose. I'm not too sure what happened, but he was getting chased by two other people. <laughs> The police minister wouldn't speak on camera but didn't hold back in her message to the force, demanding a strong visible police presence in the city as a priority for the commissioner, saying more foot and bike patrols, along with operations targeting antisocial behaviour, will deliver a more responsive policing service. This is a bigger issue than police resourcing. This is an issue of societal issues. We know there are 40 less police officers this year than there were last year. Most business owners wouldn't speak on camera out of fear of driving away patrons. One business owner told me he's seen an increased presence of young people forming gangs and looking for fights, but there was a mixed opinion on whether more police would help. We continually review our resource deployment in the Perth CBD. It's a daily, weekly, monthly basis. So how bad is crime here in the city really? I've dug into the stats this afternoon and quite frankly the results are mixed. There were 720 assaults in Perth last year but that number is actually a slight decline on the previous year. As for Northbridge, there, uh, the prevalence of attacks are becoming more regular. The number growing from 380 to 520 in just 12 months. Police say they're happy with the number of officers on the beat. They're asking for a more collaborative approach from the city to tackle this antisocial behaviour. Michael? Let's hope that works. Jackie, thank you.